one. Yeah, in this week tutorial, I'm going to show you something that I myself didn't know before um, I came across in one of the posts in Stack Overflow. Someone over there posted a question like this. When you are using a training set, you are you can develop a model and you can save that model. And when you're using a tenfold cross validation, you can also uh, develop a model and you can save that model. So the question is, are those models same? Well, in conventional machine learning problem, the community that reports work on tenfold cross validations or uh, experimentation on training sets they all the time report uh, the model uh, for tenfold cross validation uh, that performs the best or sometimes they also report that uh, in case of tenfold cross validation actually 10 models are developed and then finally you have the average of those 10 models as your final model but for Weka that's no more the case so for for in case of Weka what it does for tenfold cross validation is that it develops 10 models for tenfolds but finally when it displays the results it uses the average performances of those 10 models and deletes all those models this is very unfortunate for us because you do not have the model on tenfold cross validation anymore. So what you are having here at this stage, the model you have is actually developed from the training set by using the entire training set. So I'm giving, a, giving you an example here. So in this tutorial, I'm going to use our weather.r file for our experimentation. So we loaded that and we go to the classify tab we are going to use naive base and test options we select use training set we click on start so now we have a model here at this result list pane and we are going to save that model uh, somewhere in our hard disk so I'm going to save that as training dot model now I'm changing my test options to cross validation with 10 folds and again I click start with naive base classifier you can see that these two models have different F measures precision and recalls so this one was developed from 10 fold cross validation we have developed this model and we're going to save that model as CV dot model so in case of tenfold cross validation what Weka is doing here is it uses all the ten folds it develops ten different models for ten different folds and produces results and displays them in the classifier output pane of Weka but after that Weka deletes all ten models for ten folds and what you are having here at this result list pane uh, this model is created at 7.13 p.m. This is the exact same model as this one created at 7.12 p.m. So in order to validate that statement, you can see the properties of our training dot model. And this is 3.9 kilobytes in size. And you can also uh, check the properties of our CV dot model. And you can see that it has the same exact same size 3.90 kilobyte so to summarize I can say that in case of Weka when you're using tenfold cross validation what you're having here at this pane it's the average performance results for all the tenfolds but when you're saving this model the model Weka has created here is the exact same model if you use the entire training set in order to develop that model so you don't have any options for saving the best model either the best model or the average model if you're using tenfold cross-validation thank you